Goodness gracious, what do you got, boy? Corn smut. Corn smut? What are we gonna do with it? Cook it and eat it. Cook it and eat it? All right, let's see what we can do with it. <laughs> All right, folks, we got this corn smut here. Uh, some of it is a little bit too mature to use. I'm gonna throw this silk off. It looks kind of grimy, folks. I'll just tell you. <clears throat> The whole top here come off. Now, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get off the parts that are decent. We'll go through them and wash them. And I learned my lesson from last time. I'm not gonna cook it in a bland fashion. I'm gonna cook it in a much more uh, spicy. It just comes off in kernels like. I was pretty excited when I first seen it. I thought we were gonna have enough for a bunch, but there's really not that much on here that's still good. So anyway, that's all of that one. So here's what corn smut sort of looks like. You open it up and it it grows like a like a puffball mushroom. And if you don't get it very quick, it starts starts turning black and turning to dust. So you have to get it relatively quickly while it's still in this stage right here. We'll see what we can get off of it that's any good. The rest of that's no good. That's pretty much junk. There's one. That's a good piece, you can put it in. Oh, look what I found down in here. Here's one. All right, let's try it out, see what we can find. You wanna break it off? Just put him in the bucket. Well, as you see, I have changed my sink out. I recently changed my wife's sink out with an old drainer pan. Uh, no, it's, I think it's called an old fashioned drainer board sink, which works pretty good for our lifestyle, a lot better than what we had. So I'm gonna start rinsing off this corn smut now. I don't know if it's even edible when it's at this stage. I don't know if that black stuff is even edible. Okay, I've washed it and rinsed it a few times and now you can run water in it and stir it up without it turning the water all black. So I think maybe we're getting somewhere. Now I'm just gonna take it out of the water and place it in this dish to just hold until we get until we get ready to put it in what we're cooking. So I'll show you what we're gonna cook. It don't taste too bad. All right, here's what we're gonna use to make this dish. We're gonna start with a jar of freshly canned tomato sauce. Then we're going to cut in a patty pan squash straight out of the garden. We've got some fresh tomatoes. I'm just gonna coarsely cut up and throw in there. We've got our corn smut and we've got a, uh, we've got brown hamburger meat with um, mushrooms and okra. That's gonna be our meat in this dish. Tomato sauce. Next, we'll add our corn smut. Basically a mushroom, that's all it is. Corn mushroom. 
and meat. The meat is spiced up really good with uh, Cajun seasoning and salt. Now we're just gonna stir all this together. If you're thinking uh, that we should eat the corn smut more plain uh, to see what it actually tastes like without all this other stuff, we did that already in a video about uh, a couple weeks ago and you will find that um, on back end, but I'm gonna just put a link to that video in the descriptions and then you can just click right on it and find now, it. As you see, the fires are going and it ain't got no choice but to cook. You probably think, McGee, why are you doing this? My wife's on vacation with my daughter uh, down on the South Carolina coast. Gotta feed the boys something. I've got four boys here to feed, and if you think we're gonna go to McDonald's every day- Hey, you're crazy. All right, we're ready to eat. Somebody needs to dip the food. Go ahead and get you some there, Dave. Joe. Hey, love. Hey, you got a piece. Is it too hot to eat? Try it out. It's good. You like it, Kayla? Mm -hmm. This is corn smut. Mmm. That is really good. I like it. Here's some more. Corn smut is good, and it cooked pretty hot, pretty long time. And it got soft, and it is good. Mm. Tastes great with all the flavors of the squash, the tomato, the meat, the onion, the okra, the mushrooms. All right, folks, we're home, just us boys tonight. No mama, no sister, so we're just having to make do the best we can. It looks like we've We've hit it about right here tonight. We're gonna feed these boys good old supper. If anybody wants a hot pepper, we got plenty of hot peppers here. All right, folks. If you like this kind of stuff, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna get on out of here and we'll see you on the next video.